creatives, uh, I found one of the easiest ways to annoy them is to point out that, um, you know, you can build a brand not using an emotional 30 or 60 or 90 second television commercial. Like you can use rational arguments. So you can put that video on YouTube instead of TV. And I had this question actually at South by Southwest just last year out of the audience. And so I sent them a, a piece from Ken Roberts, who has some really good, interesting papers on this and has written quite extensively about it. But large advertising campaigns are generally formed around this like core 60, 90 second television commercial, uh, even to this day. Where did this come from? It's always good to delve into the history of the thing that you're doing. In the late sort of mid to late forties was, was, was television came. And we kind of forget about the origin of it. And the idea is a soap opera. And a soap opera came from the fact that Procter & Gamble used to sponsor full TV programs. And a kind of nerd alert, trivia alert, stuff that I absolutely adore, is that um, a gentleman called Pat Weaver, who um, everybody knows here, but they don't realize they know it because he's the father of um, Sigourney Weaver of Aliens and various other in incredible movies um, in the 80s and 90s. But Pat Weaver um, had come in from uh, Young and Rubicum, and he came into NBC and he looked at what was going on and what happened was NBC would be selling the whole TV program, hence soap operas, and they would sell the whole program. And his insight was, well, I see if I buy a magazine, they're selling different pages in the magazine. So why don't we kind of gonna sell slots within each section? And of course, NBC didn't want that. And because um, they're like, well, I've already got this existing thing, which is um, you know, the one the, 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 the I can sell the whole TV program. Eventually, he, found, he he introduced a program called Today, which is still around, and he was able to go and sell the slots within Today. You know, it's like in a magazine format where you're selling it through it. And then they found, NBC found out that was obviously a lot more lucrative. Now, the ultimate slot at the time was around, it was quite long, it was like around a minute. And fast forward a couple of years to the dawn of TV advertising in the UK. And as Paul Feldwick uh, wrote to me on this topic, he said, well, the original thing was that ITV in the UK could sell 60 minutes uh, because that was the available slot that they could do it and make it work. And then they eventually said, well, actually, we'll narrow it down to 30 seconds because that's actually inventory we can sell. But it so happens that the, th the 30 second and 60 second are also kind of long enough for you to create a sort of story arc in that actually kind of helps people kind of get their head around what the story is and, and can do it compared to say five seconds or well, arguably 10 seconds that you can do it in 10 seconds as well. And so these kind of ideas of how the 30 second commercial or the 60 second commercial are like carved in stone. No, it's actually just an origin thing from how Pat Weaver thought and actually how ITV were just slicing up their inventory. So it was just completely coincidental and a little bit of luck. And that's kind of where we are today. And of course, then the whole thing then becomes much more sort of convoluted, you know, 60, 70 years down the track that this is the be all and end all where we, we build our careers around that. And you know, yeah, it's, it's, it turns out not to be like that at all. You know, you could argue that these newer channels like TikTok and what have you, they are examples or uh, they're examples of um, asymmetry or uh, arbitrage in action, whereby people think that the 30 second is where the way to go because that's what we believe, but you can get much lower cost and a much bigger reach by just thinking about the world through the lens of arbitrage. And actually these new channels are arbitrage in action.